Hey guys, it's James here from Something RS, which is my second attempt at doing this because the first time the screen froze because, well, Jackix loves me. Anyways, I am here with our first RuneScape guide and it is a, well, Chichampa guide for a patrol and I have a bloody text, but I don't care. Basically, this guide is going to teach you the different spots at a patrol, what you should bring, what you shouldn't bring, and what gear you should use. So basically, you've got your, um, a decent set up here. I mean, it's not Pernix. I think Pernix is the range one. It is. But it's, you know, it's not bad gear. I mean, you've got a Robin, you've got your range ammo, Armadale, Archer Ring, and the rest of it, that's probably better off with Barrow's Gloves, Ranger Boots, but they're dropping like 2 mil every day, so there is no point in buying them. It's the Cloak, because I kind of want some prayer experience. Well, prayer bonus, some of prayers are just dropping like it's hot. And my damage book, just because it's got plus five prayer XP. So basically, you can either do two things for this. You can either go for the really high range attack bonus, and or you could go for the void, which it will hit higher. But for this, because chins are so expensive, you want to be hitting as often as you can. So that's why you need the high range attack bonus. Because if you look at the range strength, they're pitiful anyways. You're not going to, well, I think I max about. 150 with them, with the Void probably about 170, 180 I think. It might be max 150 with the Void, I really can't be asked to find out, but yeah. Plus, you want a bit of prayer bonus once you're doing this as well, because otherwise, I mean your prayer pots are just going to drain like, ugh. Also, you don't have to use the prayer pot, you could use Super Restore Potions, but I wouldn't recommend it, because it costs about twice as much as a prayer potion, and you don't get that much more prayer per pot. The other things that you're going to need are, you're gonna, unless you're using, like, say, if you're using a range ammo and an archer's ring, definitely bring your teleport tab because it's a lot less hassle than running out of prayer, dying, and getting all the way back. Also, if you've done one key madness, because you have to have at least start it to get it, you must, well, you don't have to, but it's it's a bit of a dick move not to bring your grigory with you because basically you're going to be running through past everyone else's things, if some, well, everyone else's skeletons, if there's someone else's there. And it is a right pain in the ass when someone runs past you and all your skeletons go after them because it just makes you lose an XP and you're losing money. I don't normally bring a shark, but because I'm going to be showing you all three and I can't wear it, awesome. Because I'm going to be showing you all the different places to go chin in it if at all. I thought I'd bring it because I will take some damage doing so. Super anti poison because, you know, if you're going to get poisoned by the little level 2 spiders or the spikes, and of course ranging potions because it boosts your range level. And you hit, and you can't see what face I'm pulling, so I don't know why I'm pulling it. Anyways, yep, that's pretty much my opinion. And you could probably sell split it here, but these things hit you like a mother bitch, so there is not much point. And another thing is, if say if you bought like loads and loads of chins, do not bring them all at once, because just in case you die, you will lose all your chins upon death, and you can't get them back because they're a hunted creature and they just run away. Because I've had that happen to me before, I lost about 5k chins, but oh, it was a, a lot of hassle, so yeah. So make sure you're only bringing around 3,000, 3,500. I probably won't use all these at this trip, but I'll show you. So yeah. So you must have done Monkey Madness to get here anyway, so the way to get here, well, one of the easiest ways so you keep the most inventory space is use the spirit tree. So you teleport to the main spirit tree, which has got a really shit graphic compared to the other one. Go to the tree gnome stronghold. I'm going to speed this bit up, I think. And you run up here. La 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 la. Sorry, I'm just had a driving lesson and I'm really hyper. Because I've not really done much today apart from college. Which is bleh. Ooh, my stats. Right, I am 96 range and I am under... 2.8 mil XP from 99, which is one of the reasons I'm coming here because you know it's it's fun, and the XP is so bloody quick. Like honestly, 400k plus range XP an hour for me, probably even less time than that. Plus you get tons of hit. It's probably the best place to come for hit points and defense XP in the game as well, because say if you set that to um, the long fuse, you get range and defense XP, so you get in. Half the range, half the defense XP. So, yeah, sorry, I missed out what I was doing there. You run into the bar, travel with this guy. If you're a pure and you don't want to like get the extra XP, just don't talk to him. Just make sure you use the travel option and you'll be absolutely fine. Then talk to Wade R. 
and go back to Crash Island. Sound effects. And then talk to Lumbo and travel back to Wave Patrol. Because that's where we're going, and that was pointless. Right, and then it's preferable now to use your Grigory so you're not getting poisoned when you're, you know, running there. So, yeah. And basically, you run a, you run east, past all the poisonous snakes and birds and shit. Because, I don't know why I keep saying because, I do apologise. But I also apologise for humming in the background. It is my monitor and it's been doing my head in for the past few weeks. Well, a few days, but yeah. Basically, you now you're running... You just run into where the zombies are. Now you're almost there. You're so close to getting that awesomely juicy range XP. You can almost smell it. And the other thing is, these caves will hurt you even if you have protect from Melion if you're running through them like this. Like, ugh. Because for some reason the caves are all shaky. I don't know why. I can't be asked to go into the lore of it. But yeah. So, yeah. How are you guys doing? Watching a monkey run in a bloody video game. Cool. Kill. Oh yeah, watch out for the spikes as well, because they bloody hurt you. And these little bastards... Ah, oh, I didn't click on it. Poisonous... I know they're just called spiders and they're level 1, but they poison you. That's why I brought a super anti-poison. Because otherwise, you know, you're going to fail. Well, you're not going to fail, you're just going to take away too much damage and have to tap out early. I always use, um... Protect from melee and my eagle eye prayer. It'd probably be better if I had a rigger, but then again, there's not much point. And also, say if you are on the Curse of Spell um, Prayer Book, do not use it. Ooh, look, we're here. Because it basically, you don't get as much range plus as that. So I will show you the different spots that you can use. That is the first one, but that guy completely failed in doing this. I Honestly, you want to try and get them all around you. So yeah, watch out for these spikes. And there's another spot you can do it where I'm going to stand now. Not oh, poison, see? You can stand here and do it, but it's not that much fun. I'm not going to ruin it for this guy because I'm not a dick, but see what I mean? This is why you need the Grigory. See, that's a lot better for him. So, let's see. He's getting all those... Well, he's getting nine of those apes. Nine out of those, however many. And look, he's got proper pure gear on, so... Yeah, I don't know if you saw him, but I'm not going back. I go back for no man. Next, you there is a nice little spot here. This is the spot I try to use because I know how to use it very well. And you know, you just put your stick your protect from melee on, and that on, and then just equip your jumpers, and they all come to you. I know there's only four, but I'll explain why there is only four and how you still manage to get tons of XP in a bit. And the other spot is at least someone's standing there. Ooh, there's, there's two spots. There is a way for people to do this without prayer, but I'm not sure. This guy's just doing the quest, so screw him. And the other spot I use, if the other you know, rest are taken, is this one here. Because these are the, those spots you do not get damaged by the falling rocks. Which is pretty damn cool. But these spikes are doing my head in. Right. So, come in here. Look at my ninja monkey skills. I am uberly amazing. Oh my days, if someone's robbing my spot, I'm going to paw the fuck out of them. Right, so you get to here. Okay. What you're going to do is you want to stick Protect from Melee on and Eagle Eye. I always respect them, set, risk, set my XP counter because it's more fun. Pot up and just pff, equip it. And make sure you turn auto retaliate on. Wait till they all come round though. And basically, I know there's only three attacking me, but... You know, they do... Every time they die, they seem to multiply. So you like... Say I'll kill these three and then four will come back or five will come back. You'll, you'll see it. See, there's only three here. One, two, three. And there's a bloody poison of spiders. And now, now there's none. But that one just walked over. Now another one spawned. So I've got, I've got three of them now. And no more are spawning. Four. Well, that's all the ones from before. Wait for them to stop spawning because it can take the piss. This is the time you're getting the slowest XP, and you see uh, it's been about well. Under half a minute, and I'm getting 2,000. I've already got 2,000 XP, which is pretty damn awesome. As I said, um, you can only attack nine. So even if you had a hundred of them, you still only be able only be able to attack nine at a time. And potting definitely always pot because it's just so much quicker XP, etc. And what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, make sure you keep your prayer up. And especially if you can't afford an archer's ring, bring a ring of life because 
if you're if you DC and your prayer drops, you are absolutely bound. Because I mean, I'm a seventy defense. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. And I I would just die like in an instant. Because you, there's nothing you can do. There's there's such a high hitting. Well, they're not high hitting. There's just so many of them, and they do hit quite accurately. Sorry. And if you DC, you're pretty much dead. So you've got to make sure you're not. You've got like a ring of life or something. And look at that. Wow, they're all spawning. Anyways, I'll be back in a minute when lots and lots more of them have come to me. Or well, now when lots and lots more of them have come to me. <laughs> okay, never mind, they'll be right back. Always try and hit as many as you can as well. So say I could just be attacking that one and I'd only be hitting those three. But say if I attack this one, I'll hit all four of them. But it will get to a point where they're all just lined up on top of each other. So you basically, you can just attack one and skadoodle. Ugh. Right, anyways, I will come back in about an hour when I have got all the XP that I can get. Well, basically, when I'm about to run out of prayer pots and or chichampas, but it's usually prayer pots first. Because I always bring too many chins, because I don't like wasting prayer pots. Anyways, I will see you guys in a bit. Ciao! What's up, guys? I'm back, and I am out of prayer pots and anti pots, and I'm almost out of rain new potions, and I've been poisoned. Oh, no, I've not been poisoned. So, basically, I've been doing this for 58 minutes now, and I've got 477, well, 478k XP in total, which is fucking amazing. I mean, seriously. I try and keep my range potted as much as possible, so I, I pot when it's on 103 out of 108, 109, and I'm going to have to tab here, but look at that. Ooh, so much quicker than training conventionally. And look at all these chins. I told you they would more and more would come. Some one kid just ran past me without a Grigri, so I, that's why I've not got 500k XP, because I lost a bit of XP then. But as I say, do m make sure you get out of there before your prayer hits zero. Otherwise, you're just going to end up losing stuff, which kind of sucks. So yeah, fi um, 59 minutes, we'll call it, you know, we'll call it an hour. 483k total XP, so divide that by however many is the hit points one. I really cannot think of it at the minute. And I got a random event. Woo! Yeah, you, that's one thing. Every time you tally, you're going to end up with a random event. I'm just saying, it's the kind of thing that happens. Anyways, this has been my guide. Please tell me what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Goodbye. Which is, nah. I suppose people have got like two, well, almost a thousand more levels than me, but yeah. 52 prayer, and the screen's broken. <laughs>